If you have an iPhone, you can download a new operating system that will change many of the features you use every day. iOS 17 is now available for anyone who wants to try it out, but is it a good idea? Amy Tucker explains. iOS 17 is now available for you to download on an iPhone, but this is the beta version, meaning everyone who uses it is helping Apple find the bugs or the problems before Apple releases it to the public this fall. Now, to be part of this beta program, you just go to this website on your phone, agree to be part of the program, and confirm you know the risk. But the question is, should you download this beta version or just wait a few months to the fall after Apple finds and fixes all the bugs and problems? iOS 17 has some features you may want, including new emoji, these contact posters, which are pretty cool. These are going to pop up on the screen when you call someone or they call you. There's FaceTime voicemail. If you can't answer a FaceTime call, they can leave you a video message. Standby may be the most helpful. It turns your phone into a bedside alarm clock when you put it on charge in the horizontal position. It displays the clock, the calendar, and other widgets. And when the lights go off, it turns on night mode. Pretty cool. And live voicemail. If someone leaves a message when you can't answer, you can see a real-time transcription of their message so you can decide whether you want to send it to voicemail or answer the phone. So it is tempting, but be aware, if you do download iOS 17 beta, you probably will run into some problems. Some apps may not work, the phone may not be as fast, and the battery may drain faster. But if you can't wait until mid-September or so, back up your phone before you install the update, just in case something goes wrong. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.